Now is the time for dynamic SOSL. Again, SOSL is no different than SOQL. If you want to generate the like SOSL string on runtime or dynamically, you can do it uh, as we used to do it with dynamic SOQL. So over here, I have a simple string. Uh, find, then John returning account, and then comma, contact. So this uh, simple string, I'll pass inside the method which is of the search class search dot query and inside this query uh, i'll pass this string as a parameter and this will uh, execute the sosl query and will return the result in this s list which is nothing but a list of list of s object and if you can notice over here i have used a uh, backslash and then colon and then again backslash and colon why i've used backslash over here is uh, because if you'll not use a backslash then the colon and the colon will be completed over here. This will be considered as a full string. But if you want to pass a colon or uh, a simple, yeah, uh, it's, it's not a colon, it's a colon, it's a apostrophe or whatever, it's, yeah, it's, it's quote, it's a quote, I'm sorry, colon, it's not a colon, it's quote. So if you, uh, if you want to pass a quote inside uh, the string, you need to like write it down with the uh, backslash uh, and like it needs to be preceded with a backslash. So that's the reason both of these quotes are preceded with the backslash uh, backslash slash 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 and uh, this string uh, we have created over here just like this but if you want to generate it dynamically you can do it based on the parameters that you're getting from uh, your users or from the yeah basically from your users so that's where you uh, actually generate the sosl query dynamically that's it that's all what you need to know about sosl queries done